Tell me! The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive at the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container! Someone must have heard us call the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh, please, no, no! Oh, God, no! I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Michael Gaming here, and I'm back with another video. We're about to play Batman Telltale series. I'm sorry I didn't post a horror game, but you know, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, go follow me right now. The link in the description. I posted, I was like, I recorded the most amazing horror game, bro. But guess what? It recorded, but it was freezing every time I edit. So I gotta find, I gotta find something else. Another software so I can record horror games for y'all. I'm sorry I didn't bring it out with y'all. I know I told y'all I was going to make another horror game. But until then, we're going to be playing Batman Telltale series. Until, until I find what's wrong with how I can play horror games for y'all. But if you love Batman, if you love basic decision games, this is for y'all. Um, I wasn't going to post nothing. So I was, gonna, I was just going to... Post the horror game tomorrow, which is today. Um, but you know, a lot of shit don't go your way. So I'm about to play Batman Telltale series. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned. Be immersed. Get immersed like I am, please. I know I let y'all down. I'm sorry, but if you're a true MG squad. And you still watching me i appreciate it and i love y'all live love laugh and i always will be there for y'all let me know what other games y'all want me to play and i'll play it on the system right now pc is acting retarded so yeah so let me know if y'all want me to play another base decision game and i'll play that so let's get into this video make sure you smash that like button ring that bell so y'all know when i'm posting my schedule is I'm posting Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, if y'all don't know. So, every video will come out every week. So, make sure you turn on post notifications. And so y'all can know when I go live or when I post. Love y'all. Let's get into this video. Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. <laughs> if only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. You gonna put me on a spot like that, bro? Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. Mr. Wayne! Thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where 
where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just working the night shift. Yeah, well then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just... Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. Man, I got I'll you, do bro. anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This it's will my home. too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? That's a good one, y'all. That's a good one, it's right? not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Look at my house. Who pulling up in my house? <laughs> you late, like five minutes ago. You're late to the party. Trying to make an entrance? Pause. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, <laughs> but I trust your family. I'm weak. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante what? justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Okay, bro. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix Little this city. do you know I'm right here. I don't here doubt that for a moment. Face. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, Harvey well, I got nothing like to do to with my babies. parents. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. Yes, sir. We got one down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, 
Well, hello. Who's that? Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the <laughs> Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. Is no reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? She won't well, me. She won't me. You can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Bro. No, no, it's she's all She's talking right. to me. She's talking you to me. stay. Thanks. Bruce? She talking to me. This she is talking to me. quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got Look some at Batman spit his game. Um is that blood? Aw oh, shit. Yeah. It looks like Oh, this? No, that's nothing. It just uh cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. And what kind of business do you Talk think Talk to your in? girl! The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe he can change your mind. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Who are you, my father? You know, I've been in the market for a new house. I'll be everybody asking up, up here. Sky high you know ceilings, me, I'm Batman. room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Well, well, do you want my cool house now? My eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Everybody looking at me? You're a respectable man, I hear. You're a whole criminal. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. I don't mess with you, bro. I don't. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Has You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. I'll bring Bruce back to you soon. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ! Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Okay, Taps bro. My okay, face bro. With words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. 
I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Man, who do you think I am, nigga? Whatever happened to being a gracious host? I, you wasn't invited. Okay, you imagine, wasn't invited. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. If Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. No, sir. Yeah, no, sir. that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Yeah, and I money can beat your ass money. in two seconds. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. I just did. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I wish you would come for me, man. I wish you would come for me. I want all the smoke. Please, I want all the smoke. Give me all the smoke. Like, bro, nobody's scared of you. Nobody invited you into my home. Nobody invited you into my home. You invited yourself. You like it. You you like you as soon as you walked through the door and then whoop your ass. You a whole criminal. Like. It's me. The Batmobile? The Bat Cave, so episode one. We just now get into the credits. We now just get into the title. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using Ooh, that's the, those are tickets that we're supposed to go see in the movies. Him and his parents. See, I know Batman, bro. Y'all can't tell me I don't know Batman. You said everybody knows that? My fault. I shut up. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. All right, Catwoman. actually been involved in the break -in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt? Nearly fell off a building for this? Have 
this man, this man on um, cave, back cave is so fire. Let's find out what was so important. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. Damn! And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Okay. So we're looking at this right here. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I got this Alfred. I had everything under control. That man do not it's scare true. me. I've seen you take down worse thugs, but I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. And a cat burglar. Okay. Um, there she is. Found her. Her name is Petty. Oh, never mind. I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. New criminal on the scene. Tied to several recent break-ins, she's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. The cat burglar. Okay. All right. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Well, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right, you're, you're right. right. You're right, I should have canceled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay, I, I know you're only looking out for it's Alfred, if we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. What's that?
Park, 6 a.m. I Oz. thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role this, more literally than Why? you. <laughs> Yo. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? Oh my god. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Okay, so we're about to go see our old friend that we haven't seen in 20 years. <laughs> wow. I bet you that was the. I bet you Oz was the one that was sticking out his tongue. Pause! Don't tell me he's homeless. Where are you, Oz? Give some change to him, Bruce. You got all the money in the world. Uh, thank you, sir. You welcome. You welcome. Go buy your burger. Go buy your cheeseburger. Go buy your Big Mac. Maybe you could get a little um, a little small fry, a little Happy Meal with that. Mm -hmm. Running late. Me and by the statue. There's the statue, but no eyes. Smokey man, talk to you. What's up, bro? Hey. Beat it. I will. You lucky you're homeless. You lucky you're homeless. That's Oz? Watch Wallet Cash. That's the same. Goes through you. Bro, that little blade. Oh, you got your friend you heard with it, you. Man. Oh, I'm so scared. The hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him. If you wanted some money, all you had to do was ask. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Ooh! Come here! I think that'll do! Ooh. Oh! You don't want to fight me. You don't want to fight me. Look at me at eyes, y'all. Stay down! Oh my god! Really? You don't want to fight me? Mm. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. <laughs> that was she get. Oh my god. That this man is, is dead. Oh, Mine. he's not dead? You hear that? Okay, Oz. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Bro. Bro, hey, come on with that. Good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? And Bruce nothing gonna act like nothing happened. the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, 
Thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't I get I mean, shot. I had it, but, you know. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. Glad they never saw it like this. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. I lost my parents too. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. That got nothing to do with Made me. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Ooh, is that a threat? Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? Get the off revolution my is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. That's a battle you won't win, Oz. No. Oh, I've learned a thing or three since we were kids. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Like, on the right Good side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Next time we meet Oz, <laughs> I will be Bruce. You know who I will be. Press conference for the new hospital to start soon. Car waiting on the south side of the park. Okay, y'all. Okay. So far. We're just talking so far. I haven't seen Batman yet. Well, I'm still waiting to get immersed. I'm still waiting. Future home of Thomas and Wayne. Yeah. Ooh, is that Bruce? Mr. Wayne, <laughs> over here. Look right at here. Bruce coming out clean. This way. Ain't that the same guy that mugged mug me? 
Anora, man. I'm Anora. Keep walking. You too cool. You too cool. You Bruce Wayne. Morning, Bruce Mr. Wayne. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars. Was that honestly. a joke? <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum okay? is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we can put a dent in crime. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm, uh... Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this girl. mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. We All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into He wasn't your invited. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Urgent. DCP. But Mr. Is here. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? Have exactly. some decency. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could what? the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Oh my god. Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Bruce, please, let's no try fugs, to keep this civilized. Don't worry about Alfred. What's going on? Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Why? Why? Why they found out? Did they find out? I'm Batman. 
did they? What's going on? Alfred? Hey, hey, talk to me, talk to me. Alfred, Alfred, what happened? They couldn't know I was Batman, though. There's no way. Hey, oh hey, my careful. God. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Need to be the guy doing your taxes. And if I refuse? Well, then we might have to make a scene. That's the last thing I want. But orders are orders, and this one comes from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. The DA is going to hear about this. Uh, unless Harvey becomes a mayor, there's not much he can do. Can't smile this thing to death. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. <laughs> I do. I got a whole bat cage in the Batmobile downstairs. Did you just drop? And you just gonna walk past like you didn't drop it? You so disrespectful. I should open. They better not be my parents. Oh, wow. It's the only pictures I have of them. And you're gonna break it. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. Ooh. Ooh. Bruce. Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, oh. It's... It's not a problem, really. Ah, oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. She oh. want me, she want Gotham me. continues its streak of break-ins. Yeah, really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. It's Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready.
The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Did I do a good job on the quote, y'all? Come on now. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rowe. She want me for real. Call me. <laughs> Call me. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Ooh. Could have been Harvey that snitched on me? It couldn't be Harvey. He need me. It gotta be Falcon. It gotta be Falcon, because I refused and I threw a... <laughs> I threw that shit, that little block at his head. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Don't Wait, like does you this know. have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. I'm in a lot of trouble, Harvey. And I need your help to get me out of it. Yes, of course. Of course, whatever I can do. What are you looking at? Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Well, that's just not good enough, Harvey. Listen, I'll look into this, I swear. I just okay, don't get bro. it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Who's that? Oh my Sorry. god, what happened to your eyes? I'm gonna eyes? have it being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Yeah, a fucking sucker punch? Wait a minute. Catwoman. Catwoman. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. I think we've met before. You do look familiar. Everyone knows who Bruce Wayne is. Do they? Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Kyle. How? Really? It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. That is Catwoman, I've bro. I've been showing her around God. That is Catwoman. Introducing her to people. Bruce probably You're gave her that black guy. That well, if I lose the election, I guess I can oh, that's drive the one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get Let that shiner? Know. Let her know. Bruce? It's okay. Why are you getting mad? Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't me? believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. 
High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? Right, right. <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Why are you Someone getting Someone in my mad? office has to know what's going on. You mad because uh, I'm talking to your girl? Excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. You better not leave me alone with her. I'll take her. Oh, why'd she give me that look? That's Catwoman for real. Are you gonna say something? Nice to meet the real you. In case you're getting any ideas, no one would believe you. <laughs> right. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. <laughs> Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. Yet? I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You Why? have something that belongs to me. No, I don't. You do too. I want it back. This yeah, is yeah, awkward shit. for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. Who hired you to break into the mayor's office? My clients prefer to remain confidential. They don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. Okay, okay, All right, okay. You want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. No, sir, not, not that. Not possible. No, sir. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Give me the fucking Seeing address. As I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. What? Better hurry. Everything okay here? Why are you, you so... You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. You tell me. You tell me. When he lined up against me? Sorry, but <laughs> I've gotta run. <laughs> so soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? That boy Jalen <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Look, you're doing the most now. If I give you another black eye in your fucking left eye, fuck wrong with you. Got them dogs, warehouse. Don't screen it up. Don't screw it up. Okay, we finally gonna see the bat. We finally gonna see the bat after 54 minutes. There we go, there we go. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. God. 
This is a slaughterhouse. <clears throat> this wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? <sighs> I'd have to count the pieces. Oh Good my Lord. god. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. The evidence. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Oh, we can connect connect source mark evidence to his exploded. Okay, I can't. So we gotta connect the evidence. Okay. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into city. What happened here by discovering which piece of evidence best linked together to tell the story? Oh, I like this. I like this. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. Okay, so let's link this to this. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Let's go over here, let's go over here. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. Falcone, I bro, know I knew it was him. Move. Good thinking, sir. No. That bad? Oh my god. Face slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Oh my god! Use to find a bullet. Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Oh, he might have ripped that. Connect this. To, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what to do. I know what to do. Connect this to this. A cop 
shredded this murk to pieces. Oh my god. They're handed. God. What would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Light stuff like this. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Oh, I did not see this one. Something was here when the explosion occurred. They connect this to this. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Oh, I like this. This hologram like I can One see of his what snipers happened. hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Oh my. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. The shooter. No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. It sounds like Jarvis. He couldn't be right here, though. That would be stupid. Somebody would have seen him. He could be over here, though. But I feel like he was over here. Let's try this one first. If 
phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Let's go. I do this. I'm a gamer. I see those. First try. <laughs> Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Where is Found he? him. Is he dead? Time to go to work. He might be dead. Oh, he's not. My turn. Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. Talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Ooh. Oh, we about to torture him. Oh it's my. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Whatever it takes to make you talk. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Go ahead to face it. Tell me! That Catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh, please don't. No. Oh God, no! I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. Now put up your hands! Don't move! Batman! What did you do to him? Don't move! He confessed to everything. It's how you got it I'm worried about. You have the right to remain silent. Girl, put your girl down. I said silent. If you say another word, I will shoot another you. Another word. I don't care if half the city thinks you're a hero. Right now, you're a suspect. Gordon, tell her to stand down. Don't you dare. You're making a mistake, detective. You want to hear what I have to say. Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to go berserk, turn violent. We need to act before he releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. You're Ooh. taking this too far, Bruce. How am I taking this this far? I'm trying to, I'm doing your jobs. I'm doing your job. Without information, you will be clueless. You'll be clueless, y'all. The action starts now, y'all. Wow.
Okay, y'all. I'm going to start right here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash this like button. Subscribe if you new. Turn on push notifications so y'all can know when I go live or drop a video. So far, I'm immersed. Now I am immersed. Y'all should be immersed too. We're on the way to Fal Falconian. And yeah, this game is like that. The fact that I love basic shit again. Telltales, I love y'all video games. Make more. But if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button. This video has been going on for an hour. For an hour. I know y'all. <laughs> y'all like, damn, nigga. <laughs> So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all part one, episode one. Love y'all, live, love, laugh, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.